Right, a little exercise today. I want you to help me to prove to myself that I can do bullion loops when somebody's watching me. But first of all, this I think, I damn stretched this last night and it looks okay. And if you remember yesterday, there was a video on here um, talking about how sweaty my hands were when I was doing this in France um, and how I, I didn't feel it'd be usable as a finished piece. And I still feel like that, even though I've damn stretched it and it looks fine. I'm just playing with it and the reason I'm playing with it as well is because I'm a bit in between, I'm floundering a bit, I'm getting ready for the class which starts next week, yes, but apart from that I'm kind of like directionless and I'm thinking to myself what do you want to make, what do you want to make Karen, what do you want to do and I just don't know, so for the minute I'm just playing with this and what I did last night was I put some buttons on it, um, some little stacks of tiny buttons because I thought the rule all loops would make really nice fastenings for buttons so, but I need to work on that a bit more because they're a bit stretched going over those buttons. So I perhaps need to make them a bit longer. Um, and then I also did something I've never done before. Now, I don't know, it just looks like I've done rule all loops and put beads at the bottom, but I haven't. I actually put the bead on the needle before, as I was making the rule all loop. I don't want to go into that too much. But I need to decide whether that's something worth pursuing because I don't know it makes that much of an impact on that way it's probably easier just to do it afterwards i would say but so i was just playing last night and um, so today i just want to do a bullion loop on here just to prove to myself and if you've done my class you'll be like what have you done you naughty girl because i always say don't put your beads on until the last minute because they get trapped in the hoop but i had to on the buttons and so because of that but it's, it's just a, a sampling piece. It's never going to be anything um, that's held up there to be something amazing. Um, it's just my little playing piece. But I really want to get my head together to get something else started. I do have ideas of what I'd like to do, but they're all very time consuming, um, which isn't a problem for me. I, I like the repetitive, the monotonous and the time consuming. I, I thrive on that but it's pressure to get things for my blog. So what I've done is, I'll just do this. Um, I'm actually going away in the morning. I'm going to London for three days because it's my daughter's birthday on Friday. And I know it couldn't have come at a worse time, but when I gave birth to her, I didn't think to myself, well, Karen, you can't have her on that day because somewhere down the line, you're gonna be going to France and you're gonna be pushed for time and you won't be able to go and visit her. So it's just, it just is what it is, isn't it? And I'm not going to not go because she's my baby and I love her. So I want to see her on her birthday. So meantime, I've made you a video about wrapping cloths. So you're going to get one of the days I'm not here. And I'm desperately looking for something to put on for the other one, two days. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, I've got to do. So I've got the wrapping cloth video. And <coughs> I'm going to... Uh, Try and find something else um, for the other two days because I don't want to leave you hanging because I've abandoned you already for long enough. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Chez moi. I took my engagement ring in yesterday. You don't want to know how much it's costing me to get it fixed. But having said that, when, she, when they were explaining to me how damaged it was and pointing things out to me, I was nearly in tears. So I, it has to be done. That's a no-brainer as well. It means too much to me not to have it done. So that's getting fixed as well. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, that was in the video yesterday as well, which is all to do with all this. Anyway, right, so let's see if Karen can do a bullion knot with an audience without messing it up. Right, wish me luck. This is the bit in France where I came unstuck there. Look, perfect, perfect. But then again, my hands aren't sweating. Um, so why didn't that happen there? Why didn't that happen? So there's a lot of French people now walking about thinking that woman doesn't know how to do a bullion knot. Well, we can tell them different, can't we? So I'll do one more, just because I can. And uh, I may just, because 
I mean, well, I haven't even got... I was going to say, I might just start one of the things I want to do that's time-consuming, that won't be ready to give you any kind of sense of what's going on before I go away. Um, because there's no point just fiddling and not achieving, although I have learned a couple of things from doing this. There's no point really fiddling forever and not getting anywhere. Um, so I may just later today prepare something that I want to do and start start doing that. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? I'll shut up and do this. So Okay, so that's that one. So that'll do you for today because I've made you a nice video about wrapping cloths as well that you'll see when I'm away. Um, okay, and I won't fasten that off because it's a big bit of thread. So even though I'm not going to continue on this much longer, I will use up that thread so it's not wasted and continue with the bullion loops down there. Okay, and when I come back, I'm coming back on Saturday midnight or something. From then, you're going to have my undivided attention. All right, I promise. Because I don't want to go anywhere. I want to be here. I mean, I do want to go and see my daughter. But I'm desperate just for a, a run of weeks where I don't have to leave the house. Um, and I don't have to have my, my sewing obsessions interrupted. 